Number 10, Socotra Island. Socotra Island has been surrounded by mysteries and myths since the time it was discovered. Between the Horn of Africa and the Arabian Peninsula, the legends of the island date back all the way to ancient times. The reason it's so often spoken about is due to the strange abnormalities on the island. It's weird, and people like that stuff. That's why you're here. It is full of flora and fauna that don't exist anywhere else in the world. One of the most iconic trees is something called the dragon's blood tree. It kind of looks like somebody took like a evergreen tree and like shh, gathered all the pins and needles to the top and it's all veiny. It's so weird. Mysterious mists and bleach white sand flow over the isolated island in ways no one can explain. The island is also host to a wealthy collection of spiders, no thank you, reptiles and birds, many of which are native and endemic to the island. It certainly is like no other place on earth with many secrets still yet untold. And at number nine today we have the Mary Celeste. And if you guys are liking this video so far, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. To this day, the mysterious case of the Mary Celeste is considered one of the creepiest cases in nautical history. Basically, in 1872, the Mary Celeste was found abandoned in the middle of choppy waters. The crew was nowhere to be found. All the cargo on board remained untouched. Now, the lifeboats were missing, which makes people believe that the crew tried to get off the ship and flee. But why would they just abandon their ship like that? Well, we got a number of theories. One, a sea monster got them. Two, a pirate takeover occurred. Three, they were abducted by aliens. Or four, they consumed bad food and they all went mad. I know, it seems wild. To make matters weirder though, the crew and lifeboats were never found. No one knows what happened aboard that ship. In our eighth spot, we have the Baltic Sea Anomaly. In 2011, a group of divers went out looking for treasure in the Baltic Sea, and they came across something weird. It was a 70 meter long weird object laying 300 feet below sea level. This thing has since been named the Baltic Sea Anomaly, and no one knows what the heck it is. It's just this massive steel looking structure shaped like a disc with some weird patterns on it. Gets weirder when the divers claim their equipment randomly stopped working when they got closer to the object. There was a massive electrical interference there. So what is this thing? Honestly, we don't know. But some people think it's a glacial deposit left from thawing glaciers. Or it's part of a UFO spacecraft from one extreme to another. Could be either or, who knows. In our seventh spot, we have the three men. In 2007, three Australian men headed out on an expedition together. Three days later, their ship was found drifting by itself in the middle of the ocean. The men were nowhere to be found. That's not all. On the ship, they found knives all over the cabin floor, as if there had been a fight and people were scrambling for weapons. What happened to these men still remains a mystery to this day. But of course, we got the theories. One is that they got into a devastating fight and they all ended up dying. Or two, their propeller became snarled in a fishing line. One dude went to go free the line, but then fell into the ocean. The second dude tried to save him and then fell in as well, and then so on with the third guy, or who even knows. Okay, we don't know for sure, that's just a theory. The only thing we do know is that this case is pretty creepy. Moving on to number six, we have the Kraken. So it may just be that the Kraken is real, but it's not what we think it is. In fact, the legend of the Kraken was thought to have been born after a number of sailors spotted giant squids while sailing. So the Kraken might actually just be giant squids. In 1870, a giant squid washed up in New Zealand. Legend goes that it was as tall as the top of a ship's main mast. And it could easily take over a ship by wrapping its tentacles around the hull and crushing it. Is this true? Who knows? But no one believed that giant squids were real until around 2005. That's when scientists caught a photo of one. Then in 2013, they got a video of one. Now they believe there are millions of giant squids out there. The mystery here is, what beast did the sailors encounter in 1870? Was it a ginormous squid, or was it a kraken, or is a squid a kraken? Who even knows, okay? There's just so many questions out there that we need answers to. We're now at our fifth and halfway mark with the cursed shipwreck. 
Back in the early 2000s, a natural gas company was laying pipeline in the ocean when they came across a shipwreck. Nowadays, this shipwreck is considered cursed or haunted. Let me explain why. So after the shipwreck was discovered, a team was sent down there to check it out. But everything that could go wrong did. First, the exploration sub malfunctioned right as it was getting ready to explore the wreck. Then the Navy sent a research sub down there and it literally self-destructed upon entering the water. Then over the course of a couple of years, other attempts have been made to explore the ship, but those have gone wrong as well. None have been successful. So now it's believed that this ship is cursed and doesn't want anyone entering it. In our fourth spot, we have the disappearing submarines. In 1968, four different submarines all mysteriously went missing. As a result, people believe that this can no way just be a coincidence. Something was out there sinking these subs. The subs were the USS Scorpion, the Soviet submarine K-129, a French submarine Minerve, and the INS Dakar. In fact, the French sub and the INS Dakar disappeared only four days apart. The French submarine has still never been found. What's weird is that it disappeared only an hour away from its port. So you think they'd be able to track it down, but nope. So what are the odds that four massive submarines go missing the exact same year? What could have caused this? We'll probably never know. In our third spot, we have Sylvester Butler Jr. Apparently a number of people mysteriously vanish off of cruise ships each year. Most of them have never been found. Today, let's look at the weird case of Sylvester Butler Jr. In May of 2017, Sylvester boarded a cruise ship headed to the Pacific Islands. While on board though, the crew noticed he was acting weird. He kept to himself, barely talked to anyone else, and housekeeping claimed that he never unpacked his bags. The only charge on his bill was the occasional soft drink he would order to his room. Also, every time the cruise made a stop, he never left the ship. Then somewhere between Fiji and the final port Sydney, crew noticed that he was missing. No one knows what happened to him. And the ship's CCTV footage revealed nothing. It's sad, but theory goes that Butler jumped off the ship and took his own life. Apparently he suffered from a chronic genetic kidney disease. So maybe he wanted to end his suffering, but we don't know for sure. On top of that, I believe that his body was never found. Coming in our second spot today, we have the Stronse Beast. The Stronse Beast is the name given to a massive carcass that washed ashore on Stronse Island on September of 1808. At first, people thought it was just the body of a shark, but this creature had paws instead of fins. So then people were hella confused. Not only that, but it was 55 feet long. But part of its tail was missing, so clearly this thing was even bigger than that. This beast was described as follows, and I quote, its flesh was described as being like coarse, ill-colored beef, entirely covered with fat and tallow, and without the least resemblance or affinity to fish. The skin, which was gray colored and had an elastic texture, was said to be about two inches thick in parts." End quote. Not only that, but its bristles glowed in the dark when wet, and the contents in its stomach were red. So what is this beast? The Natural History Society of Edinburgh believes that it is a sea serpent of some sorts. Maybe the Loch Ness Monster or its long lost brother, who knows. And in our number one spot today, we have the Oorang Madon. So this next mystery is pretty freaking creepy, I'm not gonna lie, it's gonna keep you up at night. So in 1947, two American ships received a distress call from the ship the Oorang Madon. The SOS call was from a crew member that stated everyone on board the ship had died. Then all of a sudden, his SOS ended with his last message being, I die. When the ships arrived, they found the ship completely unharmed. The entire crew, including a dog on board, had died. Everyone had a terrified look plastered on their face. No one knows what happened to the ship. Theory goes though that maybe they were exposed to some dangerous gas and died. That seems to be the most common theory out there. Kicking off the list at number 10, living fossils. Also referred to as crinoids, but living fossils sounds way better, definitely. These little guys went extinct 273 million years ago, or at least so we thought. We found these dudes this past year, and they're these non-skeletal corals. They're cousins to starfish and sea urchins, but I gotta admit, they don't look nearly as cool. Starfish are the coolest, they're OGs. Discovered on the Pacific Ocean floor, this type of coral will attach itself to the stem of Japanese sea 
lily, and then they just become one over time. Any type of ocean life that undergoes symbiosis, that creeps me right out. I don't like barnacles. I have a fear of the ocean, and I'm super glad that we're doing this list. So let's move on as I get goosebumps. Oh, I hate this. Philosophobia, I think, is like a fear of deep water. I have that. I also have a fear of shallow water. I can't swim. Number nine, siphonophore. We know that there are some pretty gnarly creatures that live in the big blue, and adding to that list, we have the siphonophore. Check out this guy. Oh, how cool. What? I mean, oh my gosh. This creature was discovered 2,000 feet below the Indian Ocean by a robot exploring a canyon. At first glance, it kind of looks like a piece of trash, maybe like a toilet brush attached to like a plastic bag or several. It has many working parts, all with a different job. It can even glow if it wants to. Some parts of its body can catch prey, digest food, reproduce, and others, of course, swim. Busy dudes. They can grow up to lengths of 40 meters, which is longer than a blue whale, which, by the way, is Earth's biggest animal. However, in terms of width, it's only about as wide as a broomstick. What's even crazier is that in 2020, the year when the world shut down, scientists still discovered the longest version, 150 meters, making it the longest creature ever discovered. Number eight, Mahabalipuram. The early life of Mahabalipuram is shrouded in mystery. Though it was once part of the Pallava dynasty that ruled over part of southern India between the 3rd and 9th centuries AD. But prior to this, legends allude to the first king Bali, Mahabali, a sacrifice himself to the fifth avatar of Vishnu. Knew, after which he became enlightened. Based on discoveries made by excavators, this spot was really active in the trade of goods and other artifacts, even having trade with the Romans. It was a hub of culture, art, and literature full of thriving life. One of the biggest attractions was a complex series of temples called the Seven Pagodas of Mahabalipuram. However, today, only one of the seven can still be seen as the others are submerged underwater. Other legends say that the god Indra became jealous of the architectural elegance and caused flooding in order to submerge the city which may very well be the reason it's beneath the waves today, due to the wrath of the gods. Number seven, a mysterious chest. Where'd my scarf go? It's in the chest, it's in the ocean. Beneath the waves and the swells of the Indian Ocean, there is a mysterious chest that could contain treasure for all humanity, or evil. Who knows? Underwater snaps of the chest show that it belongs to a cargo ship from the 1800s. The trunk was discovered during a search for the missing MH370 flight that went missing, but they found two shipwrecks instead, so they were like, wow, shipwrecks, not people. At first, they got really excited when they came across the debris field, thinking that they had finally found the missing craft, but then they found out they were pirate ships, and they were like, wow, exciting. Even more mysterious, though, is that the WA Maritime Museum has no records of the ships, thinking that it may have been a ship lost at sea and everybody died on board. However, whatever is in the chest remains to be seen, and the search for the missing plane continues. Number six, the oldest tsunami victims. Over a thousand years ago, on the east coast of Africa, there was a Swahili fishing village bustling and busy along their day. But then all of a sudden, a tsunami devastated the village. Based on findings published in National Geographic revealed a macabre discovery. They found a site in Tanzania that is the first and oldest tsunami deposit bearing human remains found in East Africa. The oldest human remains in a tsunami deposit was also found in the Indian Ocean just across the way in Papua New Guinea and is 7,000 years old. However, this tsunami doesn't appear to have been that big. But I mean, a tsunami is a tsunami, you know? It's a big deal, either way. But because the people live so close to the ocean and they were on the other side of it, they would have had no warning. No earthquake to hear that it was coming. So, poor guys. Number five, the lost city of Krishna. For all the Atlantis fans out there, sadly it wasn't that. But just because it wasn't doesn't mean it wasn't, I don't know, cool. In my opinion, it's cooler because it's real. For a long time, people in India considered Laura Krishna's city of Dwarka a myth, until all of a sudden, it wasn't. Indian scientists finally discovered the lost city had been submerged off the northwestern coast of India. It is now one of the best studied underwater sites and has become a famous attraction. It is even considered one of the four dharmas, a sacred place of pilgrimage and worship. Lord Krishna founded the holy city and numerous stone structures still remain. Research suggests that it used to be the busiest port town before it sunk beneath the waves over four to 5,000 years ago. Number four, the Gondwana pieces. A mysterious ancient continent called Gondwana was discovered in the Indian Ocean and scientists were 
stoked. It was an ancient supercontinent formed over 500 million years ago. It broke up about 180 million years ago into the land masses that make up Africa, South America, Australia, Antarctica, the Indian subcontinent, and the Arabian Peninsula. Researchers are only discovering that there were microcontinents beneath basalt rocks when they found fossils. They were like, whoa, wait, animals used to live here? What is this thing? This discovery could mean that previously established beliefs about how the plate tectonics broke apart could be shattered, just like the continent was over hundreds of millions of years ago. Number three, a transformer. I feel like the ocean is a perfect spot for aliens to vacation. You know, like why not? Tons of scenery, plenty of food, opportunity to pull pranks on humans. Why the heck not? It's perfect. So when this was discovered, everyone was shocked, except for me, because I don't know if I can be surprised on this channel anymore. When a new species turns up, the first thing the world says, it's aliens, but this very well may be a new creature in the crazy world that lives beneath the waves. However, you have to admit the footage is pretty bizarre. It looks like a creature is literally transforming itself 3,700 feet below. Check out this clip. At 45 seconds in, it just looks like it's having a grand old time floating, like wee. I'm going down. And then at 1 minute and 28 seconds in, it completely flips over and these little stripes of light reflect on its head. To me, it kind of looks like they are machine lights. It becomes more active and starts swimming around the craft almost as if it's teasing them. I don't know, friends. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. New octopus or alien friends? Both. Number two, Diego Garcia. Now I know this wasn't technically recovered, but it sure is terrifying. The island of Diego Garcia in the Indian Ocean has a murky and mystery past that the CIA doesn't like to talk about. It may have been their secret prison where they tormented their captives. The US government has persistently denied claims that it operated a secret war on terror within the confines of the island. But that wouldn't be the first time or last time they lied about something. A Swiss senator by the name of Dick Martin. Marty was the one who produced a detailed report alleging the torment that happened on the island. Marty told the European Parliament, We have received concurring confirmations that United States agencies have used Diego Garcia, which is the international legal responsibility of the UK, in the processing of high value detainees. Processing was in quotations, so you can only imagine what that was hinting at. Number one, a mysterious glow. The Milky Sea has been a phenomenon for ages, but as of yet, no one has quite been able to explain it. Jules Verne even wrote about the Milky Sea in his famous novel, 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea. The legend of the Milky Sea became just that when sailors would come in from sailing. They'd be like, whoa, did you check out this weird sea that we came across? It was crazy. But they'd be like, dude, you're nuts. Even in modern times, scientists dismissed it because the level of bacteria needed to create that would be colossal and they considered that impossible. Yet it exists. Essentially, it's a glowing part of the Indian Ocean with an unknown source which remains under debate. The leading theory is that it has to do with a large collective of bioluminescent fish plankton hanging about. The reason it was proven was that Steve Miller checked a British merchant vessel that reported seeing it in January 25th, 1995. And I quote, On a clear moonless night while 150 nautical miles east of the Somalian coast, a whitish glow was observed on the horizon and, after 15 minutes of steaming, the ship was completely surrounded by a sea of milky white color. It appeared as though the ship was sailing over a field of snow or gliding over the clouds. Miller used the Defense Meteorological Satellite Program, DMSP, and its polar orbiting satellites to detect this ethereal event. He matched the coordinates recorded by the ship to the date, and then he found it when he actually just waited and watched for it. The glowing spot spanned 15,400 kilometers of glowing Indian Ocean for three nights in January. Starting off this countdown, we have the HMS Sea Serpent. In August of 1848, the crew on the HMS Daedalus was sailing in the South Atlantic when they spotted this terrifying creature. According to the ship's captain and several members of the crew, they claimed that the monster was 60 feet in length, with four feet of its head raising out of the water. This massive sea beast lurked around the ship for 20 minutes before taking off. To this day, we don't know what it is that they saw. They described it as being a long snake with a dragon's head. Pretty weird and creepy, right? Well, they aren't the only ones who witnessed this too. It was spotted a second time by the American Brig Daphne. And in fact, crew on board even shot at it. Scientists claim that maybe they just saw a whale. But come on, a bunch of experienced sailors would know the difference between a whale and something that's not a whale. 
Number nine, Chuck Lagoon. This lagoon was Japan's main base during the war, but come 1944, the United States launched an attack, what some deem is Japan's Pearl Harbor, where 60 ships were sunk and around 250 planes went down. So for 70 years, there's been a massive graveyard sitting in the Pacific, and it wasn't until recently where we got a good look at these haunting artifacts. A photographer by the name of Super Jolly went down and did the dirty work for us. He called this shoot one of the scariest dives he's ever done in his entire life. They described the atmosphere filled with human skulls, gas masks, and bullets as haunting. Yeah, you don't say. Nobody was expecting these artifacts to be that well preserved after all this time. That's the terrifying thing here. Photos are even still intact. You can see people's family members just sitting at the bottom. How sad is that? It's a haunting reminder of naval warfare, and also humans mostly suck. Number eight, MV Derbyshire. This ship was twice the size of the Titanic, but James Cameron didn't make a movie about it, so let me fill you in with less of a budget. MV Derbyshire was the biggest British registered merchant ship of all time to go down. That's an odd brag, but hear me out. She was assembled in 1976, but lost in 1980 en route from Canada to Japan. A Mayday distress call was never issued, and it was following proper ocean routes with weather routing companies, so they were doing all the right things. What happened? September 15th, 1980, a search began for the missing ship and crew, but six days later, the search was called off. Nothing was found. The ship was declared lost. The system the sister ship of the Derbyshire ended up sinking as well later on in 1986 due to deck cracking, so the families urged officials to search again for answers. Come 1994, the Derbyshire was found. Number seven, Garbage Island. There's a lot of treasure in the sea, but there's also lots of garbage because humans suck. Sorry. I mean, look at the top of the Pacific for the example, not even below it, but right on the surface, we have something called the Great Pacific Garbage Patch. It's located safely in the North Pacific subtropical gyre. There's basically four of these large systems, which are just massive swirling ocean currents moving warm and cool water about. They're whirlpools of garbage now. No wonder aliens don't want to come. They're like, no, this looks like Let's just go to that planet. A plastic bag, for example, was found at the bottom of the Marianas Trench. We now have the deepest piece of trash. Kind of hard for Ariel to sing under the sea when she's got a plastic bag wrapped around her head. This great patch is larger than you think. It's more than twice the size of Texas. It's grown up to 60,000 square miles. Please recycle. Number six, Yanaguni Monument. This structure was discovered in the 80s near Yanaguni Island in Japan, and the claim is that this is an ancient city, or it was long ago. It's 160 feet long and 65 feet wide, and we're pretty torn over this one. Some think it's man-made, with the lines being so straight that it looks like paths were literally carved out. And I mean, to be fair, that looks like a little staircase. If this was on land, I'd be climbing all over it. I'd think it was made on purpose, some ancient jungle gym. But the fact that it's so deep underwater makes us think that it was a natural formation, obviously. No one's going down there like pickaxing, holding their breath. The footage of it is pretty incredible. If I were to come across this, there's no way I would believe that it's all natural. What do you guys think? Number five holes. If you have trypophobia, you may want to look away for this next one. I have it, but I have a job to do, so I'll suffer. Off the coast of Big Sur, California, a survey revealed about 15,000 holes, and they're all roughly the same size. They all measure up to about 11 meters wide and one meter deep. The team at Monterey Bay Aquarium Research Institute found 15,000 of these, and then they found 5,000 more that are even bigger. <laughs> the little guys are micro depressions and the big ones are called pockmarks. Initially, scientists thought methane under the sea floor was coming out to say hello and then they left a crater. Rovers went down there, tests were done, no methane. In fact, there hasn't even been any activity for 50,000 years. These craters are doing a pretty good job though when it comes to the ecosystem. Now there's deep sea creatures just living in them without paying rent, how rude. They even found a whale skull just laying in one. Imagine being a crab and coming home to that. Number four, USS Nevada. Deemed the unsinkable ship, and for good reason, the USS Nevada was lost in 1948, and it wasn't until a year ago where she was seen again. Unsinkable ship that sunk. What's, what's going on here? Well, during the 1941 surprise attack on Pearl Harbor, the USS Nevada was the only battleship to get away in one piece, but barely, they barely got away. It took years of repairs, but she finally returned to battle in 1944 to support the Normandy invasion. A year later, it assisted the invasions of Okinawa and Iwo Jima, and then two atomic bomb tests were performed, and then post-World War II, she was finally deemed too ancient for service. So the Navy used the USS Nevada as target practice, and it took five whole days and lots of power to finally sink it. A torpedo 
was the final strike. And after it sank, the Navy wasn't really sure where exactly it would end up. It was more than 15,000 feet below the surface, so it could have gone literally anywhere. Hence why we can't find anything else on this list. You get it. Cut to last year, May 2020, a joint expedition by Ocean Infinity and Search Inc. led by Dr. James Delgado found her. Just 65 nautical miles southwest of Pearl Harbor. It took a little while, but we got gotcha. you. Number three. Amelia Earhart. Yeah, you heard me, Amelia Earhart. The first woman to fly across the Atlantic was well on her way to setting even more groundbreaking records, but her plane tragically disappeared somewhere over the Pacific in 1937. It's since been a great mystery where the final resting place of Amelia Earhart is, but we may have actually found her remains back in 1940 on the Pacific island of Nikumaroro. The initial examination of these remains were reported to be that of a man, that was the general idea in 1941, but come 2018, however, we now have a different idea. Science got better, our ideas got smarter. Researcher Richard Johns took another look at these lost remains, and since those days, we've learned more about Amelia Earhart. Photos have surfaced since, so now he's comparing the bone measurements to her body type, and they're actually pretty sure that that's our missing aviator. And that we had her the whole time, and we just didn't know. Number two, the Dragon's Triangle. The Dragon's Triangle is located in the Pacific, obviously, as are most of these, and it's like the evil sister of the Bermuda Triangle. And just like that triangle, this one also takes the blame for disappearing ships and planes, and apparently UFOs are flying about of course it's referred to as the devil sea these names are so scary sounding like I don't know change the names and maybe it won't be spooky anymore just an idea there have been UFO sightings magnetic anomalies planes and ships vanish in 1945 for example a Mitsubishi a6m0 went missing and the pilots distress call said the sky is opening up then they disappeared 1955 a Japanese ship named the Shinyo Maru lost radio contact and it didn't take long for the New York Times to coin the term the devil sea all these spooky triangles are ocean currents to blame or is there something truly paranormal about the Devil's Triangle? Let us know in the comments down below. See Illuminati confirmed. And finally, number one, crop circles. We'll finish this list off with a cute one, I guess. Although I'm arguing this is still pretty terrifying. Crop circles on the ocean floor, aliens confirmed. They were first spotted back in 1995 off the southern coast of Japan, and for 16 years, these things were blowing the minds of divers. Nobody knew where they were coming from. They would just be there one week and then gone the next. Tiny aliens or tiny puffer fish. That's right, in 2011, one of these dudes got caught in 4K, and it's one of the weirdest but most cute things I've ever seen. These male puffer fish, they try and lure in the ladies by making art. Yeah, some birds dance like crazy with their weird mouth looking wing things. Some fish make art, I don't know, deal with it. Animals are the thing that baffles me, concerns me if anything, is that the puffer fish uses a shell, like he uses a tool to carve out his emotions. Check this out. 